All right, jerk offs, we are back. We're here. It's a Monday. You're ready. I'm ready for a brand new episode. I'm excited about this next guest. It was really cool chatting to him. Uh, he's, he's a person that I didn't know that well, and it's always nice to kind of record those first chats you have with people because you really get to feel them out. You really get to, and you guys get to hear that. You get to hear like the honesty in both of us not really knowing what the other person's about and then figuring it out over the hour. Uh, I'm back in London now for the duration, for the next little bit. Uh, it's nice and cold. We just had our housewarming uh, party on the weekend. It was um, a bit late. We've been living here for about nine months, but uh, you know we had the housewarming and that was, that was kind of a new experience for me because I've never had a party in an apartment before. In Australia, everyone's got a house. So, you know, the party, there's like a little bit indoors, but the majority is in the backyard. Uh, whereas in the UK, we don't even have a balcony. So like 100% of the party takes place in your living room and in your bedroom and stuff. And uh, that was that was fine. Like, I didn't mind, except for a girl threw up in our bedroom. She really tried though. She did that, she did that run towards the bathroom, bang on the door, realize that that was occupied, opened the other door and then just vomited uh, right at our doorway for our bedroom. Um, and she was very apologetic. You know, I always, I always appreciate that if someone throws up and they're, you know, just incredibly embarrassed. That's a good, that's a good move. I don't mind. I get it. We've all been there. But uh, it was just, the funniest thing for me was like, I don't know if this is well known, but Australia, especially Sydney, has incredibly strict alcohol laws. Like that's just a thing that we have. You're, you're not legally allowed to be drunk in a pub in Sydney or a club or anywhere like if you're intoxicated you have to leave the premises and if you're a bartender who serves someone a drink who then people determine to be drunk like say because the police can come in that's the thing that can happen they can just kind of search your venue um, if they come in and they see an intoxicated person or if they catch them kind of on the street you can get in trouble you can get fined like quite a significant amount of money for having served an intoxicated person I think it's about five hundred dollars, so that's about three hundred pounds. And the venue can get, I think, um, I think it's like fifty thousand um, potential fine. So it's this weird thing here because in the UK, I think people are more comfortable with seeming drunk than anywhere I've ever seen in the world. Like if UK people are drunk, like everybody knows, and they know, and if you don't know, they'll tell you, right? Like they are comfortable with seeming pissed on the street. And uh, so the one thing with the house party is we went to a bar around the corner um, and there was like 20 of us and we were all, you know, ready to get in. And in my head, because I'm from Australia, I'm just like ready for like, you get, you get interrogated when you go to the pub in Australia, like the, there's, a, there's a bouncer, uh, sometimes they'll scan your uh, driver's license, so they kind of keep a record of that and they'll be like, how many drinks have you had, how are you feeling, all that kind of shit, trying to suss you out. And you've got to kind of play a little math game with them being like, oh, it's 11 p.m. So I've had two drinks or if it's 1 a.m. You can probably say three. But if you say like four or five, they're not going to let you in because you're drunk. Right. And like sometimes I'll let you in with like conditions like, look, you can come in, but you've got to drink water like the whole time you're here. And so it's really weird. I know this must seem very weird for you guys, but that's that's just how it works. Like, And, and you are used to it. You know, everyone in the line kind of acts real quiet. And like that's that's kind of how it works. Whereas, yeah, here, you know, we were like a group of like 20 people, like hammered, like everyone's drunk. And we just roll straight into this bar and the security like open the door for you. Like they don't, they don't ask you any questions. They don't worry about anything. They just open the door and let you in. And then like we're in the bar, everyone's drunk and like that's totally fine. You can order drinks, no one minds. And then there was just this one moment. It was funny because there was a lot of Australian people at this party. There's one moment with this girl who was like part of our group, she got up on the table to like walk across the table to like talk to someone, which is like, you know, that's a, that's a risky move, right? These, these are like flimsy pub tables. Like it was dangerous and also a clear sign of intoxication, right? And there was security at this bar and just, it was really funny because all the Australians just kind of inhale breath and like watch this person being like, there's no way that she's not getting kicked out as soon as she steps off that table, Right. Like that's 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 for sure. Like I think she like kicked over a glass accidentally. Like, but yeah, in this bar, she got up on the table. Most people in the bar looked because it was a bit of like a spectacle. 
and she gets off the table and just starts talking to a person and then everybody just goes about their day. Like, it was incredible. In Australia, like, she would have got one step on the table, a security guard would have run in from outside, been like, get off the table, you're out of here, you guys in her group, get out of here too, like, all that shit. But here, it was just the biggest non-event of all time. And then shortly after that, she took herself home. She was like, oh, yeah, I'm, 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 a, I'm a bit drunk, I'm going to go. Which, in Australia, you never, you never reach that opportunity, you know? Like, it's always somebody else is going to intervene before you get to do that. Anyway, that just blew my mind as one of those like subtle things in another country that like it's crazy how conditioned I am to be like as soon as you go near a venue, you sober up, you get your head straight, you got your story straight and here nobody could care less. It's, it's bizarre. Anyway, uh, this week's guest, Nico Yearwood from Barbados, which Commonwealth country, pretty exotic get, I think. You know, Australians, Canadians, South Africans, Kiwis, they're your stock standard Commonwealth, but Barbados, I think is pretty cool. I've never been out there. Uh, I don't I don't really know many people from the Caribbean in general. Uh, so I'm excited to chat to him about what kind of stuff he's noticed coming over here. I think he's been here a bit longer than me. Um, so yeah, I'll be, curi- I'll, I'll be curious to see what he has to say. Uh, I met him at the Hot Water Comedy Club in Liverpool uh a few months ago and yeah it was just funny because we're just having that chat in the green room that comedians have when they have a set that's it's gone okay but like not that great you're just trying to figure out what's going on and basically we're both like yeah you know i think what we said tends to go better in london than it does in liverpool so i'm excited to chat to him about that just like how he's received across the country because it does vary and I think it does vary, especially if you're international, both in positive and negative ways. Like you get that little bonus for being a bit exotic, but you also like just don't know the kind of shorthand that they know and the expectations that they have of what a comedian is going to talk about. So we'll, we'll, we'll chat about that as well. Um, yeah, he's a, he's, a, he's a cool dude, man. He, um, I mean, I'm excited to hear what he has to say. But just on the Australia thing, before we get into this episode... Uh, it is the last Australian Comedians Dope Comedy of the Year, December 2nd, uh, just down at the Backyard Comedy Club. It's the last one of the year. I'm back there hosting. And on the lineup, we have Thomas Green, who's another Australian fellow living in the UK. He lives in Nottingham, which I've heard absolutely nothing about as a place. So I assume it's pretty grim, but please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, and then we also have Sarah Bonetto, who's um, been living here a long time. She's been doing very well in stand up and she's a bit of a podcaster herself. And finally, Nick Kappa, uh, who's a mate of mine. He was like one of the dudes when I started in Sydney and he's going to be in town for just a couple of weeks and we got him. So that's cool. Uh, Backyard Comedy Club, December 2nd. You can get tickets at Ticket Text and Design My Night, Australian Comedians Dope Comedy. That's what it's called. Uh, Beyond that, as always, if you listen to the podcast, please get in touch, man. I'm always excited to hear from you guys. Uh, I'm excited to answer any questions, whatever you like. Uh, get me on Twitter or Instagram at Dan Muggleton, D-A-N-M-U-G-G-L-E-T-O-N. Muggle like Harry Potter. That's the way to remember it. Uh, and beyond that, you can also shoot us an email, man. I'm, I'm excited about that too. Uh, MuggletonDaniel at gmail.com. If you message, I will reply. I promise you. All right, here we go. Episode from Barbados, Nico you would it has, you, got, you got theme music for this no i should get theme music okay. uh, that's like this that's is what the, you need man that's that, what separates the good podcasts from the great ones i mean this this just implies to me that you're easily tricked you know it's just <laughs> like this guy's got a theme tune it must be a good podcast it's like yeah. nah man like, it's all about the packaging, man. That's well. I mean, I I I got like the image. That's all sorted now. I got like the proper graphic design done. Um, I've got I've got music in between segments. That's like my my housemate records, because he's like what, what segments for? Well, just like as in I do a little intro 
and then this this is the middle segment this is the main segment what we're doing right now and then what's the ending segment the end segment is just me being like well that was cool here's where you can find okay this guy if you or this lady if you if you like their stuff okay and then cool. then they seek you out on twitter or instagram well, i thought you had like little um like advert segments oh i wish this is book (laughs) if you get if you get if you get in the adverts man that's when you're really killing it but i got a mate who um is is quite quite high up in like this company that i really want to sponsor this because it's an australian company Mm. and they're doing very well okay i'm gonna give them a free plug now fuck it koala mattresses if you want a mattress (laughs) in australia get koala mattresses Oh, they're not based in the UK. They're not based in the UK. Okay. That's the thing. This is, mate, you're going global. Like okay. I know you're thinking this is just some little podcast, but this is this is all around. Can you post me, man? You got more followers and stuff. Yeah, of course. Pull, not. Pull, hold, sit on this for a bit. You know what I mean? No, people people <laughs> want to get it at the ground floor when they start liking it. You know, yeah. so you'll be you'll be in that initial initial group. And people I, will be I like, I want to be is... when you get in the advert dollars. Okay. So, so then you, you to, to be boost punct- my followers. Okay. You want this to be punctuated <laughs> by advertising. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. I've, never, kid, I've never, I've never had a guest on before who's been like, look, this is when you're going to release me. All right. I want <laughs> yeah. this. I this on record yeah. that you've agreed to release me when this thing goes platinum. And it's big, man. And it's big. Cool. Yeah. But this, this is a, uh, I'm, I'm chatting with Nico Yearwood. That's what I'm chatting with. Is that is that said properly? You had, you had say like again. Let me say. Nico Yearwood. Yeah, that's perfect, man. That's perfect. I you just gave you just. I saw the little eye eye dart, and I was like, ah, shit. No, that's I good. fucked that's up good. a name. I thought that one I could sound out. Pretty Some people good. go Yearwood. Yearwood, but, but it's Yearwood. I prefer Yearwood. You well, prefer we say Yearwood. Is it? But some people say Yearwood. Is it? Is it spelt like it's spelt on posters, or have you kind of made the spelling? easier for people to say oh no that's exactly that's how it's spelled okay yeah. i know i know a few people do that you know they just kind of change it phonetic you know oh, so no, it's just no, like no. we it's like that because people just don't trust white people with names you know like we we butcher them yeah and unfortunately that's not the only thing people don't trust okay people. okay <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna start yeah. there we're gonna yeah. start at the top <laughs> um wait so we we should we should give us some context um nico is originally from barbados and he's been living in london for what, 12 years? 12 years, nice. So, yeah. where did you come over like after uni? I did uni in Newcastle. What, like Newcastle, then, England? Yeah, yeah. Ah. Newcastle, England, up north. Upon time. With the, yes, with the Geordies. And then I went home <laughs> for a little bit. And then I came back over. Yeah. So you... To you, London. To London, right. Yeah. So you, you came, you studied, and you left. And then came, you Came, studied, loved it, went home. Was sort a bit bored. Everybody was working. I wasn't working. Got frustrated. Came back, <laughs> and that was it. Wow. So what? There's you couldn't get work in Barbados, or everyone else was just working, and you were like, I don't everyone do was this. working, and I was at home chilling. So then you but then you decided to come I was to London. Frustrated, yeah. So I was like, I'll come back to the UK. I like I like the zero I like the zero fear part of that, you know, because like most people are like going to London, like how am I going to survive? How's this all going to work? And you're like, I'm bored. I'm going to go to London. I'm mean, gonna go to one of the most expensive cities in the world. Yeah, I like big city living. <laughs> you like big city living? Well, that's yeah. man, me, me too. Like, yeah. what, what kind of size are we talking? What, what, what town did you live in in Barbados? A town. I live in a parish. A parish. I live in what? Um, Saint Philip. That'd be what? South Easterly. Why? Saint Philip. Why yeah. is it a parish? Is it like it's, connected to a church? The country is like eleven parishes. Right. Is that a state? Up into, yeah. Ah, that's cool. Why? Why? Why a parish and a state? I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't there when they were chopping it up. It's just you, just, you grew up here in the 11 parishes and I'm in St. Philip. St. Philip. Okay. Yeah. Is that the, the biggest one? Like, I, don't, I don't know the size. It's, 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 the island is shaped like a little sock or a boot. Okay. And so it's a tiny little Italy? The, yeah. That's like by the toe. Saint by Philip the toe. Okay. It would be like the toe. Yeah. So it's like in a corner. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So not... Yeah. So okay, but like, how how many people like roughly? Like, give me give me a in Saint Philip. Yeah, oh, I don't know. I would just divide. You got the number there. Population is what three hundred thousand or three hundred and fifty thousand. I reckon I, I, it was actually two hundred and fifty, but I rounded up. But you think it's oh more. no no no, it's more. It's, it's more? more than that. Okay, yeah. so that's the whole of Barbados, though. Yeah, three hundred and yeah. I would say three hundred and fifty or something like that. It used to be. Growing up, that was the number we had, but I think it's more than that. Okay, because time yeah. has passed and yeah. everywhere's got more crowded yeah. over time. Everybody's breeding. Do you think yeah. any country has gotten smaller? 
I can't think of one. I can't think of anywhere where it's like the population's going down. No. People. People. Just, people breed and move. Yeah, they're just breeding and breeding. Man. Do you do you, have you have you bred? Have you have you increased the population yeah. of the country? Of this country, yeah. Of this country. Yeah. So how 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 many have you? So I got two kids, two, two kids, and that's it. Yeah. Okay. With a, I'm retired now. You're retired. Yeah. You're out on the mm-hmm. two kids. Mm-hmm. Nice. But you. I think no body, no body should have more than two. I I agree two with is that the actually. Limit. Yeah. I, actually, you know what? I've I've actually given it three. I've no, been like two. I think. I think three is the absolute maximum because that's the that's no, the no, highest no, number no, you can no. fit in I, one car. That's no, the maximum. I think three if you you get a bonus child if you're like a high achiever or a, <laughs> a like talented person. You know, you know what I mean. You got to qualify. You've for pro- it. Yeah, you've proven that you are a benefit to society. So like you're a great the- artist or a sportsman or. Poet or something like that, a scientist or yeah. what, what about like a businessman? There's like no, a businessman's no, no, okay, no, like if you're a real good businessman, like a CEO. No, you like, got to be a special talent to get through. Okay, so something that you can't. Good genes, yeah. Good genes. Yeah. Okay, well look, let's not let's not get into that. That's a fucking <laughs> that's a nest of spiders right yeah, there. Yeah. What good genes are? Okay, so you got two. I mean, I agree with that. I think two is a good good number. Boy, girl, boy, boy, girl, girl. Indeterminate. Yeah, I would say yeah, boy, girl. Boy, girl. Yeah. You got to just one of each and then be done. And move mm-hmm. on. And was that are they? They, it, they yeah. English. They they British citizens. Are they born here? Yeah, born here. Okay. Yeah, they got British passports. What What about you? Have you got Have you upgraded to the full thing yet? Are you a citizen? I am a permanent resident. A permanent resident. Okay. Yeah. Can you become a citizen when you want? Or yeah, I think next year I can. I believe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm always curious. Because like. Did, was it was it easy for you to get the passport? Because like I know from Australia, basically, if you're under 31, hmm. you can work here for two years. You just get a working visa, no questions. Yeah, asked. I came over on that actually the working holiday visa, exactly. Which is yeah, what yeah. most Australians do. Yeah, so you're on holiday. that as well. So the that's what I started out on. Is it is it the whole Caribbean who can get that, or is like Barbados kind of closer? To the UK than the rest of them. Don't know. <laughs> These are technical questions. This I don't is know. I, I, I don't know. Sorry, I don't. I, I, I know like. I think it is the ones in the Commonwealth can get that, I would believe. Well, see, this is the thing. I thought so too, but then Malaysia, you can't get them. Okay. I was but talking, I think I was for the Caribbean, I think. The whole thing? I think So basically, Caribbean. if you play cricket, you can get that visa. If you, if I, you I like, suspect so. <laughs> that's the Malaysia doesn't count, doesn't play cricket. So it's like we don't give it the visa to the Malaysian people. They can't be trusted. I don't know if, if, if it's because Malaysia, I don't know. You you tell me like you, the Caribbean islands are quite chilled, isn't it? Like <laughs> I don't know, I don't want to get into that, but like I think you know we're a peaceful region, and I don't know, I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I just talking out my ass. Well, that's um, that's what this is all about, wild but, speculation. <laughs> but yeah, um, to to educate these people, these are English people, man. I think I think you underestimate how little English people know about anywhere yeah. apart from England. They know fucking heaps yeah. about here. Yeah. But in terms of the Caribbean, they'd be like, well, look, they had a good cricket team in the 70s. And, and since the 80s. Then, and then since then, there hasn't been a lot. Like, that'd be their 70s view. 70s and 80s. 70s and 80s? Yeah. Who, who was the... Mid-80s. Who was the man from Barbados? Who was your, who was your best player? We got well, who was considered one of the greatest of all time, a guy called Sir Garfield Sobers. Is Gary Sobers from yeah, Barbados? Yeah, he's from Barbados. That's There's a statue cool. of him on the island. Which, which parish? That, I think it was moved. <laughs> it used to be in St. Michael, I believe, but I think they move it somewhere. They I don't know. I don't know where it is, but he has a statue on the island. Did Did you play growing up? Well, you had to at secondary school, but I was not good. <laughs> I didn't like it. I didn't like standing in the hot sun for so long, man. Yeah. This is very little action, and the sun is too hot to be playing that, you know what I mean? Well, look, Australia, uh, the similar similar climate, I'd, yeah. I'd say. Like, I remember as a, as a kid, we played in like 40 degrees. Yeah, and least. like nobody thought to stop the game. It's just like forty degrees. That's fine. Have yeah, a go. Yeah, no, no. In the UK, for everyone to be melting. For me, that's yeah. It's too hot to be playing sports, man. Too hot in forty. Did you did you have a sport? Did you play something else? A football and some basketball. Yeah. Okay. Just scrummaging. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not a proper like. No, you wasn't in a. I wasn't on a particular team. Well, I was for football. To like you know under sixteen, under nineteen, yeah, yeah. stuff like that, but not a proper like professional team or anything like that. You know, just uh, messing uh, around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So like not not everybody's jerseys matched, you know? Like there was some odd socks. There was some a people didn't situation. even have on shoes. And there would be a goat running around the pasture as well. So <laughs> it was just yeah. Okay. So what what's what's the biggest sport like in Barbados these days? Would it be football? I would say football, yeah. I say yeah, we football crazy. Um I mean people still into cricket, but it's no twenty twenty, in it? Yeah. People more like the twenty twenty. Test cricket isn't as big as it used to be. What what about you? Um, but you football remained... football is yeah, I would say it's football. That's number one? I would say so. We... I, that's that would be my guess. Everybody watches football. Everybody. Know, yeah. What how's the how's the national team? And then basketball do... is pretty popular as well. Right. Does the does the national team do all right? Like Barbados? Are you are you no, by terrible. yourself? No, terrible. 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 Just terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody likes it, but we're not very good at it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you had have you had a good footballer? Is there anyone like that you guys kind of claim because Australia claims people from New Zealand as well. Like you know, we kind of yeah. There's, I don't. I don't think there's any one person that like was. We had talented players, but um, none of them. None of them. Stand no, nothing. Out. No, like sta- major, no statues. Major, of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nothing major. Okay. Nobody. Nobody worth commemorating in a statue. Yeah. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. But mm, soon. Yeah. Well, they expand in the. Um, the amount of teams to the World Cup, isn't it? Yeah. So hopefully one day we'll make it by some fluke. Do you, Do you guys play in like the American, like the one? Yeah, with the one America, with the one with like Mexico, Mexico yeah. Trinidad, America, Canada. I think. Yeah, I'm I've, playing that one. I've, Is no, it Concacaf? Oh, yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's funny actually because like the reason I got like a like a I think vague. Costa Rica as well in there. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like all yeah. those little islands. Um, but like, yeah, the reason I know that is because um. Australia's got a football league, right? It's called the A-League mm. and it's pretty average and we play it during Australian summer so it coincides with European winter. So these footballers have to play in like 40 degrees. Mm. Like it's insane. But the first season we had it, Dwight York was the, um, he like came, the marquee yeah, yeah, player yeah, 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 for yeah, Sydney. Yeah. Um, and who was your biggest player? Was it Viduka? He's Australian? Uh, Harry, Harry Kuehl, probably. Harry Kuehl was Australian. But Viduka was from where? Australia as well. Yeah, Viduka. Yeah. Kiel was probably, because he played for Liverpool and stuff. Yeah. Okay. So he was probably like number one. Um, but yeah, and it was just real funny because like we had we had Dwight York and then that was the same He year. lasted like one season though, and then Yeah, and like we won. We, he won the premiership, like the initial premiership, and then he just left. Mm. And then he um, got Trinidad and Tobago to the World Cup in 2006. Yeah. It was like a pretty good year for him, you know? It's just like basically had a little retirement year in Australia, won so everything. Did he retired after that? Australia? He just left Australia. He was like... I'm, Where did he go? I don't know. Maybe yeah. nowhere. Maybe he was like, I'm done. I can't yeah. possibly nail it any harder than I already have. Yeah. Australia, we, we make the World Cup, but we're still rubbish. Like it's not... Yeah. It's not, it's not great viewing. Yeah. I, every year we're very optimistic too. We're like, this could be the one. Well, you got to be. That's mm. the spirit. You can't go in there thinking... That's this is a waste of time. That's what English people do. Have you, you must have been here for like World Cup in the summer. Every English person's been like, we're fucked. Like, there's no way we're going anywhere. And then they win one well, game and no. they go crazy. Before, they used to be like, we're going to win it. We're going to win it. This year was the time they went in. We were like, eh, we, we're just happy to be here. And then, you know, they went it pretty far. It all got far. swept up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they went pretty far. So you, you've seen them start off optimistic oh. since you first got here and then it's just gotten worse. Yeah, yeah, worse. yeah. They always used to be, oh, this is our year. We're going to win it. So, <laughs> but yeah. But then this year they almost won it. There you go. Yeah. You got to start But it was quite muted. Cynical. Yeah. It was quite muted going in, to be honest. I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Did you, did you support England? Do you do that yet? Do you feel kind of a bit of an, you know, a bit, a bit in the heart for the English people? You want them to win? They like it, it's, it's, it comes in waves it comes in waves sometimes I, I want them to do well then other times I'm like I get pissed off with them but <laughs> I, yeah it comes in waves man just, just I like I like in the end I wanted them to do well in but the, at first I was um, rooting for Brazil rooting for Brazil yeah why Brazil because they play good football they play it the right way so I was hoping still yeah what like Neymar and stuff like you think yeah. you think that's good I think attacking uh, beautiful football and I like to see flair. You like to see flair? So, uh, yeah. You like rather some razzle, than, bit r- of dazzle. Yeah, exactly. So rather than just methodical style of playing, uh, <laughs> I don't like that. I want to see people trying stuff, flicks and tricks and stuff. 
Right. You want some entertainment. Mm. You want the you want the T twenty. I want to be entertained. I want to be entertained. Yeah. yeah. Well, some some people like they could not give a shit about the entertainment. They just want that result. You know, those people are just like doesn't matter. One nil. Love that. Grind oh, it out. No, I need entertainment. What's the point? You like, don't want to sit down and watch a boring match. Mate, I'm with you. I I agree with you. Right. So that's why. But I Brazil th- for me. I think English people, if you're like, hey, you're going to win every game 1-0 or you're going to like win... You know, oh, yeah, they will two. snatch their hand off. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they will love that. But for me, it's... um, I start out with Brazil. Then I support... um, If there are any Caribbean teams in there, obviously, they will have my support. Yeah. Um, And then it's the African teams. I want to see an African team do well. And then it basically comes down to... Yeah, which team got the most black people in it? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I bet if I'm being honest. I, I actually don't know much about the history of the Caribbean. Is that where a lot of the immigration came from? Like Africa to the Caribbean? Like you, know you to call Barbados? it immigration. <laughs> immigration, I mean, I don't want to make assumptions. I can guess. I can guess yeah. it wasn't them being like, I want to check out these islands over yeah, here. It wasn't no cruise ship. Yeah. Um, yeah, um, it would have been West Africa. The descendants of the Caribbean people would, would have been like mainly from West African countries, I reckon. Yeah. And is like, is there like an indigenous population in the Caribbean countries as well? Like, who was kind of there when British people turned up and did their the thing? The Arawaks and Caribs, Caribs. Um, those were the indigenous. They were like an indigenous um, Indian people type thing. All right. The Arawaks and Caribs. And they say the Caribs were warlike. The Arawaks were more like peaceful. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. And then, yeah. Um, I think when Columbus turned up, though, it was uninhabited, I think. I can't remember. But was that like a proper uninhabited or like Australia was uninhabited? No, I think it was a proper uninhabited. Okay, right. Because you know the Australian There's a lot thing, of right? wild pigs or some shit. <laughs> but yeah, I don't... Th- I don't know. A lot of, a lot of wild pigs? So yeah. Because yeah. Australia, Australia, they played that. They were like, there's no one here. We'll just have this. Yeah. It turns yeah. out there was quite a few people there. <laughs> oh, man. They did it all over. So, um, they, have a, they have a system. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that was what it was. Um, and there were some people called the Taino people. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, basically. Um, and then some later on, some English people turned up. <laughs> and they they actually I think what happened they they took over the ship and it had ten African slaves on it and they took them with them to Barbados and that's how they started it up. Well, they but, they like hijacked the ship. You know they had all these pirates and buccaneers and right, whatnot. Yeah, of and course. yeah, they were coming through and they um yeah they jacked a Spanish ship that had some African slaves on it and one of the guys I can't remember the names of them but yeah jacked them and went and they yeah settled Barbados right and yeah. that's how that's how it all got started yeah interesting and like is do you still kind of feel like the Britishness now like do, like cause Australia like we I think for the most part we turn it up a bit what you turn up what like the, the Britishness we're like nah come on we're we're part of this bigger thing and this like history like we're we're still very connected. Like, do you, do you guys still have the queen on your currency and stuff? Is she is she around? Is she on the back of the coin? That's how you can usually tell if a country. Not like, re- No, I don't think she's on the back of the coin. We got some animals on there. Um. So you got. Head- no, I don't think. But she's still the head of state. Oh, she's still the head of state. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. We're so independent, she's like but she's still the head of state. But I don't think she's on the money. No, she's not on the money. She's not on the money. No, not to my knowledge. How, how long? I can remember. How how has it been since you've been back? Um, about two years now. I'm going in November, so I'm going pretty soon. Oh, but shit. yeah, I don't remember her being on the money. You you tell me she, I've got you here one month before you go back. I could be getting all this fresh knowledge. You could have some Barbados money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All these questions I could could have researched for you. No, yeah, bring back some money and stuff. Yeah. No, I'm just yeah. Because in Australia, yeah, back of all the money. Do you drive left or right hand side? Left, left, left. Yeah. All right, that's some good British, good British driving. 
Man, I think what happened was we used to get like a lot of British TV shows and whatnot. That's what we grew up on. Yeah. Doctor Who, Allo Allo. Um, were, you, were you a fan? Yes, yes, Prime Minister. <laughs> well, what's that one with the retail shop? Oh, man. I, Are you being served? Okay, right. So, yeah, so stuff pro- like that. That's proper British yeah, TV. Yeah, proper British TV. Was just coming but I in. think now it's more of an American influence. I mean, Americans just make more TV. Yeah, it's more American. I don't <laughs> say, I don't think people cling on to Britishness and Barbados now. I would say we're more influenced by American culture, as are, is, you know, most places. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, they just, you know, they put more stuff out there. They've got the better looking celebrities. What more do you want? Yeah. You know, they're taking over. Yeah. Their own way. But like, did you learn kind of Commonwealth history in school? Was that like a part of it? It's like, this is what happened in England you know, during that time and all that stuff? Was that kind of shoved down your throat? No. You, what, you mean like the whole colonial thing? Yeah. I wouldn't say it in a great detail. Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, I think it was more... No, I don't think... History-wise, it wasn't, you know, dealt with a great deal. It didn't, yeah. I don't, or... Maybe I wasn't paying attention, but, <laughs> <laughs> but um, well, what, what I think you? I think when you think about you know we the the books we read for English literature were like the classics, right? Which were like um, you know Jane Austen stuff, Oliver <laughs> Twist. Somebody called a kestrel for a knave or something. <laughs> was it, so it was like yeah. Was it weird reading like? Jane Austen and like all the kind of descriptions living on an island. Yeah, no, no <laughs> just, connection to it whatsoever. Like, what is this? Shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No <laughs> connection whatsoever. Because that's the same like Australia. It's like these beautiful rolling hills and these lush green grasses, and you're like, what? This isn't what we're living in at all. Yeah, what is this place. Yeah, you. Could, yeah, Oliver Twist, Charles Dickens, that kind of stuff. Yeah, but you, what you said you don't remember from school, but you must have been a pretty good student to go study abroad. You know. Go study at an English university, you would have to I don't get think in. you got to be what? that good to... You reckon? Well, I mean, in Australia, if you study outside of Australia, it tends to mean that you're, like, taking it pretty seriously. I reckon that would be, like, the kind of standard, you know? Oh, no, I wouldn't say I'm a special <laughs> student or anything. You just... Well, you, you need a degree to do a master's, so I had a degree. So then you just pay the tuition fee. Oh, so I you had a degree in Barbados, Barbados yeah. and then yeah. you got the masters in uh, yeah, Newcastle. In Newcastle. Oh, okay. Yeah. And what what was it? What we what should you be doing as opposed to being a comedian? In finance. Finance. Yeah. Did you ever work in it? For a little bit, like six months, nine months. Yeah, for a little bit, and then just got out of there. I can't work in an office, man. It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's the hardest thing ever being in an office man i um, i agree like i don't know how they do it like did you do a degree i did yeah in what i uh law okay that's what i was supposed to be doing but i didn't do any of it i skipped it i was so just, you didn't even work in a law office not, not at all once. did you complete the degree i completed the degree yeah and got straight out i was Oof. like no nope, i can't do it it's too <laughs> weird i don't want to see anyone so you didn't even apply you had no internship nothing i <laughs> I went to like the, in, in law in Australia they're called clerkships instead of like an internship like while you're still at university between like the fourth and the fifth year you do a clerkship which is like eight weeks in a mm-hmm. firm and I went to the one firm's kind of little drinks thing where you got to go to the drinks before you did the application so I just skipped the application went straight to the drinks got loaded at this thing and was doing like uh, embarrassing handshakes with one of the partners mm-hmm. like I was just like this is how you can fuck up a handshake you know like mm-hmm. just doing that with her and everyone's just watching me being like what the fuck are you doing and mm-hmm. then I actually got offered the chance to apply because you had to it was like a Twitter competition because mm-hmm. they were like you know what's going to separate the cool lawyers from the regular lawyers or make them do something funny on Twitter and you know I was a not a nerd so I could be funny on Twitter Mm-hmm. And so I got the application thing and I just didn't do it mm, and just enough. finished and got into, I, I used to run a trivia night, like, you know, pub, pub, pub quizzes. Quiz. Yeah. <laughs> I used to run, I used to run that back in Sydney okay. and everyone, and I live with all my friends from law school and they're mm. just like wearing suits and going to offices. And I'm like, I'm going to, 
read out uh, some how, questions to uh, some drunk people. <laughs> how many times a week was that? The pub quiz. Yeah. Um, I, I'd host kind of between one and two, like nights a week, but I'd also organize like other shows. By the time I left Sydney, we had about 12 shows. We started with one. Mm. So it was pretty, pretty So cool. it was enough for you, for you to pay rent and stuff? Yeah, man. It was honestly, now that I live here, getting all my money from comedy, I had no idea how good I had it. But like, it was the cruisiest <laughs> job, man. Because this is the thing, I didn't run the company. I didn't write the questions. I just kind of sold it. You just turned around and read them. Yeah. No, no. Okay. I sold it to pubs in Sydney. So like, yeah. I just kind of got it in there. So I'd like tell them like, we're the best trivia service. You should use us. And then I trained hosts. And then I helped them out with technical Well, so you weren't even hosting. I'd host myself sometimes, but by the end, I wasn't even hosting. Oh, cool. And so it was just that proper, like, you know, that middle management shit where you don't have to do anything. You just have to make sure other people do stuff. Just delegate, yeah. And then you just get free money. Dude, I just, I used to get 500 Australian a week for just doing nothing. That was my just. And what was rent? 180. Were you talking 180 a week? Yeah, I had a real small room, and then I spent one eighty a week. One eighty okay, a week. Cool. But in terms like in terms oh, yeah, of that's, pounds, that's, you live in large, man. Dude, it was five hundred a week on one eighty rent. Yeah, that's good. I had no idea. Then that's I come here, and my rent's like so like triple that. Triple. How that? many people live here? Three. Three. We got three in here. Cool. But yeah, so just like the other house, we had six though. Mm. But in Australia, it's a house. You know, there's space. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Australia's got space for shit. London it's doesn't have space for stuff, anything. Yeah. It's the same in Barbados. There's just, well, this, yeah. this is the thing. I found it weird coming over here. Whereas like in Australia, if you're in a couple, everyone wants you to live with them because you're paying, you got two rent people, you split the bill another way and like they can kind of jack the rent up for that room and put their rent down a little bit. And like, whereas in the UK, they hate couples because there's no space. So they don't want any couples to live in their apartment. That mm. was my girlfriend's nice thing when we got here. It's just like, we're a couple, we're just looking for a place. And I was like, oh no, absolutely not. We don't not just want single people. Exactly. Because yeah. like the room's so small and the house is so oh, small. Oh, so yeah, cramped. You get cramped up. But yeah, it was like, but you, you started in Newcastle. You started off with the Geordies. What was it like up there? Was it oh, yeah. less, less English or more English? Probably more English, right? No, very. I don't, in what way? Were you, how were you saying? Oh, just like more English people, more Greggs, more bacon sandwiches. Like <laughs> That's what you call English? That's what just, I call English, just Greg's man. Ain't. Okay. Greggs and bacon sandwiches. <laughs> just people with bad teeth. The oh, color gray. All the English shit. I don't know about that. What, I what think, are you, what I think, do you think English people English? are great. You think English people are great? <laughs> Mate, yeah. you have been um, here a while. Um, is, your, like, is the children's mother, is she your wife? Girlfriend, yeah, the wife, wife, wife. The wife? Yeah. English. That's I I don't know, man. Um, what? she she grew up here, but she's got an Irish passport. Oh, so I mean that I don't know what she calls herself. <laughs> <laughs> she I don't know. She she thinks she's Irish. I don't I don't know. I don't get into it. We had a debate about this, and it's undecided. But by the by the but sound, she's got an Irish passport. By the sounds of like your your tone of voice in talking about that debate, it was not a very fun debate. <laughs> oh yeah. So we uh, we had a debate about this man. It was uh, yeah. yeah let's just move on. <laughs> yeah. But okay. Um, but not not from Barbados. Like you met her no, here, no, 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 all that yeah, stuff. Yeah. 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 So, um, yeah. so Newcastle. No, I would definitely say that people are friendlier up up there in Newcastle. Very friendly people. Yeah. You know, they're, they're like warm, even though it's cold as hell. They're very warm <laughs> people, you know, like compared compared to London. Obviously. Yeah, because London is more like, you know, everybody's anonymous. Everybody's gone into work. Everybody, you know, what is it's, Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. What, what word up there would they say when they greet you? What word follows high? Because I got I got a theory like in England, it's kind of like it goes it goes up. It starts like mate, like in London. People mm. say mate. Mm-hmm. And then you get a little bit higher and it becomes pal. I don't know why. They just start saying pal. Then you get even higher again. Like you go like Scotland high and then it becomes my man. Those are like the three oh, greetings. I, I don't know, man. I I never looked in or... No, I can't say. <laughs> I can't remember. But um, you know how Jordy's talk. Well, I, I can't do the accent. You can't do the accent. I'll, I'll well, just butcher it. 
Um, but what, yeah. What, what about the words? They say any words with anything that you were like that? What are you talking about? They say use a lot. Use. Use. With the S? Yeah, use. Uh, That's in, in Australia, we do that as well. Why I? Or some, something like that. <laughs> some, why I? Oh, yeah, they say why I? What, uh, is, what does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then well, one of them phrases is what? Have I got a pie on me head or something? I, I, I'm, I, I'm just <laughs> piecing together bits, but yeah. I like this. Why I, mate, or something. Why, why I, mate? Why I, I don't know. Like, but yeah, they're very chatty, man. Very warm chatty? People, warm people. So you, yeah. that was good. That was good coming over. Yeah, I like Newcastle. In a new place, but you didn't, didn't want to move back there when you came back? It's just um, the jobs are in London, that's all. The jobs are in London? Yeah. Do you, so, do you do anything apart from comedy or are you... No, nah, just comedy. Just comedy? Yeah. But initially, did you, have to, did you have to do some stuff? Well, when I first did my degree, I was looking for work. That's why I did finance for a bit. And then I did retail and stuff. And yeah. Where from finance to retail? You preferred the retail life to the office life? Well, it was just to like... I had to do something. This was even before comedy. So after... Um, or when I just started doing open mics or whatnot. Yeah. You, know, you still got to get a job to, you know, support you. Oh, for sure. Right. I had my, so I was I doing my, retail. I had my trivia. I had my, I had you my, did trivia here? Not here. Here I've... Oh, here. You, did, you started comedy in Australia. I started comedy in Australia, yeah. yeah. I've, only, I've only been here like nine months, man. That's why all oh, this okay. stuff... Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's why this stuff is so fresh. I'm like... Okay. I'm coming across being like, you guys are weird. And you're like, what are you talking about? This is where I live. I like yeah. the English. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, don't remember, I don't remember Newcastle. That was 12 years ago. Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. I don't know. Who, who's, who's from Newcastle? Cheryl Cole has got a, a Geordie accent. Um, I think Ant and Deck, are they, are they from Newcastle? I, I don't see Ant and Dex seem to be like a really integral part of British culture. Yeah. And I don't under, I don't know who they are. Yeah. I have well, no they, idea. Yeah. Yeah. Do they, they host everything. Yeah. Basically. That's like, they're, they're like the guy. They're like yeah, the they're Jimmy the Carr, but for the yeah, other but Apparently they split up. No, one had, one got alcohol problems or something. Right. I think it's Dex. I don't, I don't <laughs> know which is which. <laughs> I just know there's two of them and one of them got um, drinking problems right now yeah. and he, He's on on a break. I don't know if he's coming back or not. Right. It was Ant and Deck. Now it's Ant or Deck. It's one yeah. of the two. I, think, I think it's Ant. Uh, <laughs> that is still sober and working. Still sober, and getting it done. Yeah. Right. Like when I came over, I didn't know who take that was, and the girl who was who I was seeing at the time lost her mind. Like she pulled the <laughs> car over and was like, "What? Pull the chair? <laughs> pull the car over? Oh right, yeah, right, right, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. She was driving, and she was like. How could you not know take that? <laughs> but I never heard take that in Barbados. They didn't, like, they didn't like, make it. They yeah, didn't travel well. Yeah, yeah, take yeah. That. They didn't break the lucrative Barbadian market. Um, <laughs> I don't think they're big in the States either, are they? Take that? I mean, look, in fairness, I couldn't... Is that the Robbie Williams one? Yeah, the See, Robbie Williams. I know that in it, but I yeah. couldn't tell you anything about take that. Yeah. I don't think they ever made it to Australia, man. Right, yeah. This so, is what I mean. English people have that thing where it's like, but obviously you yeah, must know yeah, take yeah, that. Yeah. And it's like, like... She was like, what? <laughs> she pulled the car over. I was like, how do you mean? She's like, take that, take that. I was like, <laughs> we only take that, take that. You know, it's Puff Daddy, you know? Um, <laughs> she's like, no, take that. I was like, What? And then she didn't know who Puff Daddy was. I, I would say, I think I might have heard the song um, Angel before he came over. Possibly. I'm not sure. Robbie Williams' Angel. Robbie Yeah, right. I, I think so. But definitely not take that stuff. But yeah, if you're, if you're thinking Angel, what, like Shaggy? Shaggy's Angel? <laughs> Did that, was that Shaggy's got Angel? I'm pretty sure. Like, darling, oh, yeah. You're oh, your girl, angel. you're my yeah, angel. Yeah, you're my darling. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah, no, um, I think I might have heard Angel. See, Shaggy was very possibly. popular in Australia. We got very excited for Shaggy. Okay. Yeah. That, that was, that, I'm always curious like, about guys like that where it's like Shaggy and like Sean Paul. Like, are they big in the Caribbean or like they just kind of go somewhere else where you find Oh, they were exotic? big worldwide. Shaggy, Sean Paul, big worldwide. Yeah. They were, yeah, they were proper, like proper worldwide superstars, isn't it? Yeah. I think that song wasn't me was that's one of the biggest of 
two thousands? Like, was that two thousands? Yeah, that was early two thousand. I reckon. I don't know. Is but that was that song was massive, man. That song was everywhere, <laughs> everywhere. Man, everyone, everyone still knows it. Yeah, yeah. nobody, nobody's forgotten. Yeah, it wasn't me. It was I? Uh, I was actually weirdly enough. I was talking to my mate about that earlier today, hmm. and we we're like we're figuring out what it would say on like Shaggy's tombstone. Mm-hmm. It'd be like on the tombstone. It's like it was me. Yeah. Or like mm-hmm. it is me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, Mr. Bombastic. Yeah. Yeah. Mate, he, it's weird because I, I definitely like look at music now and I'm like. This is kind of annoying. But then I realized that I was like loving It Wasn't Me, which is an objectively dumb song. <laughs> you know, like you shouldn't, like you're looking at it now, you're like, God, that's stupid. It's like flossing, like, you know, that dancing with like yeah. the arms. Yeah. You yeah. just like, you look at that and you're like, well, that's stupid. And then you think about us and like doing the Macarena. And it's like, well, that's right. the music, man. The music is supposed to be silly. It's supposed Isn't to be it? silly. I don't know. Some Unless people, it's like, you know. Some people take it fucking seriously. Like I don't particularly. I think, I think it's funny. Yeah, but I mean, if you think about dancing, dancing is utterly ridiculous. <laughs> if you wa- if if you're sober and you're watching people dancing, you're like, what are they doing? This is mental. Is this any any dance? Move? Any type of dancing is like, why do humans do that? Like, why are you doing that? What what possibly could you be enjoying about that? Just. Isn't it like you're near other people? Like it's kind of like you're all. <laughs> no, I'm talking about being, dude. Go <laughs> go sober into a nightclub and watch people do like proper sober <laughs> and just watch people dancing. Is it, is, and you would say like this: this is mental. This is nuts. Is, is this one of your favorite activities? You just like to go sober. No, no. no but when you think about it, like what are they doing? Don't don't get me wrong. I like dancing, but I think it's a strange activity. Look, definitely, I. I wouldn't have come up with it. Like yeah. I wouldn't have been the one to be like, "Hey guys, you know what we should try while well, this music's playing?" Yeah. <laughs> what if I just shake my arms a lot? It's it's so weird, man. I but find it strange. Do you, do you do you have sweet dance moves? Do you have any? Do you have any moves? See, I I, I like to think I got some moves, but I don't think I do. Because I've know. seen people dance properly. You know, you know, those people who, like do take the dancing seriously, and like everyone just kind of forms that circle. And you're like, well, oh, yeah, I'm no. never going to get there. No. I don't have the kind of drive to nail that dancing. Yeah. I, like when I watch people spin on their head in a club, I'm like, dude. Does that happen in a club? I've never seen that. I've seen that happen a couple of times, actually. Yeah. But like here, like London, London club or? Yeah. I've seen, I've seen that in, happen. In Australia, I guarantee no one's ever done a head spin. <laughs> I've seen, you know, like these B-boys yeah. spin on their heads or slide on their knees. And then you're like, okay. <laughs> you need to work harder in life <laughs> <laughs> you think if you're that good at dancing other parts of your yeah. life are falling apart yeah uh, it, or if you need to head spin to impress a lady you know get get a job get a nice <laughs> car- <laughs> get a job or a nice car you know we met in Liverpool at, at Hot Water that night yeah yeah, yeah. it was the first time we met yeah, I think I saw you at, um, I came down to Kishan's gig. Oh, yeah, comedy. And I, saw, I think I saw you there before I met you in Liverpool. Yeah, Comedy, comedy On. Thousand, comedy thousand, Cafe 1001. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Comedy On. That's it, yeah. Yeah, I saw you there. Yeah. That, was, uh, that, was a, that was a funny gig. I turned up and I didn't know that it was uh, an urban room. Yeah. Which, like, is it? I don't know. I guess it is, I think. I would say more, yeah, I would say more urban than... Yeah, is, like do you do you do any gigs in like the urban circuit here like is there much of one i don't yeah, know because yeah, I, yeah. I see i see fo- uh, posters and stuff and i've just oh yeah yeah it's and, like, it, and it pays well it yeah, pays urban, well urban circuit is great for pain yeah interesting yeah because i know like in the states and stuff like yeah dude i did a gig i was meant to do 10 minutes and the show was running late i was <laughs> Um, and the guy said, "Ah, oh, do seven. Seven, give me like two hundred quid for seven minutes. Ooh. No way on the mainstream you get in that. Never, no way. never in a million years. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh man. Well, man, when they say, hey, can you go short? We'll pay you the same. Yeah. Oh, it feels great. great. Yeah, I love that. That's how lazy comedians are. <laughs> yeah, like we're working ten minutes in that day. We're like, oh, seven, awesome. Yeah, tell me, tell me more. Yeah. Um." But I don't do a lot, a lot of them. I get offered the odd one here and there. 
Yeah. Um, but is yeah, when I do, it's is good. it is it kind of like in the states where it's kind of got its own circuit? Like people are big on like the urban yeah, circuit, yeah, that yeah. never do mainstream, yeah, and vice versa. Like, yeah, I would say so. Yeah, yeah. But, there's some guys on the urban circuit who are like proper killers, man. And you're like, dude, you should be, you know, m- more well known or whatnot. But um, yeah, it is what it is. I guess just keeps it separate. But yeah, that was it was great doing that gig, man. I was like, I had a good time. Like I don't I don't know why you wouldn't do it. Uh, yeah, it's more to be honest, when it's that's the thing with um you get more love when you're doing uh an urban gig. Like they're livelier. They're livelier gigs. Right. Yeah. The audience, in terms of audience response. Response, yeah. But it is a higher risk <laughs> in that like you have to be a bit quicker and it's more fast paced. But when they love you, the response is incredible. And when they don't love you, the response is like even worse. Have, have you ever had a real a real bomb on one of those? Or have you managed to dodge that bullet so far? Because I've heard stories like in this, like people just throwing chicken yeah, wings at you, being like, get off. Like, you know, just like they just start chatting. Like the, the they will chat start level talking, just yeah. goes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just I'd like over sure. time. <laughs> like, oh, my, I meant for chicken wings. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> I like how you meant for this started to train um ch- chicken wings at you. Dude, that is That's, that is the exact I story I was told. I refused to <laughs> fall victim to this stereotype. <laughs> no, that was exactly what they said. Like they threw chicken wings at me yeah, and I had to get off the stage. <laughs> and I'm like, wow. Oh dear. And I I didn't ask whether like they were eating chicken wings or like fresh, you know? Because like it's so wow. much worse if they've already eaten most of the wing and then thrown it at you. Jesus. I think that's more Can you imagine? I've never never had anything thrown at me on stage. <laughs> Did the person say it was chicken wings? Were they exaggerating or were they being like... That would, I assume sincere. Like, they were just okay. like, yeah. If there's chicken wings, like, whoa. What, you just picturing <laughs> that? You just you just thought I was stereotyping <laughs> super hard. Yeah, yeah. Or, or the person that relayed the story was. Yeah, I mean, I, from memory, it was the person that, like, it had happened to. Okay. Because they, no, they went. It was like the, um, the famous um, Apollo in... Harlem, the oh, what's well, it was, this was in the states. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Not here, not here. Okay. Um, that yeah, it was like the famous the Monday night, whatever it is. Mm. Don't we like yeah, like Dave Chappelle like did his fir- did his show there and his first gig getting like bombed. Oh, so what? They serve Amazing food home. at the Apollo. It's like some kind of theater thing. Yeah. Okay. Like this is this is like I'm just I'm just jumbling this story. I don't think they were. At- I don't think they threw chicken wings at this person. You, you're just like, there's no way? <laughs> I don't think so. I think they made it up. They were so upset. And they were like, yeah, they threw chicken wings and watermelon at me. I think that's what, <laughs> I think that's what they were like. No, I don't believe that. You don't believe I it? I don't believe that. You don't, you don't think I don't think that th- actually happened. You don't think anyone would throw a wing? I mean, I got, I got no horse in this race. I'm just no, I'm just saying, I don't think, first of all, of all I don't think they serve food in a theater like that. If it's a theater setup, I don't think they're serving, Yeah, you know what I mean? No, that like, makes sense to me. Yeah, that makes sense. It must be they threw popcorn or something. But to chicken wings at a theater like the Apollo, come on, man. I don't believe that. This is like, this is the one, I, I don't know. I'm going to research this. Yeah, I don't know. See yeah. if the Apollo serves wings. Yeah, you got to check oh, it out. And then, then if, obviously, if they don't, I'm just going to delete this from the podcast. <laughs> so that of people being like, man, that host guy really yeah, makes yeah, some yeah. assumptions. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, no, I just, I've just heard that, like the brutality of that is like pretty wild. Yeah. Cause, like, oh, the, yeah. The urban gigs here. I think it's the only place I've seen people had stuff thrown at them. Well, yeah, what what I've, got I've what seen. got thrown there? Um, like <laughs> tissue, <laughs> tissue, or like or like the napkin stuff. I've oh seen wow! That happen or or was it a menu? Someone like took the menu and balled it up and threw it at a person. <laughs> 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 I knew it wasn't gonna go well though. I had seen that act um, the night before. Right, and then they said, <laughs> they said they were doing. It was in Stratford. They said they were doing Stratford, and I, I, I left my gig to go watch them because I knew it wasn't gonna end well. Right, you but just yeah, went there, yeah, 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 because they're doing like quirky, like whimsical puns and shit, and this is like an urban crowd, proper, <laughs> like they want to hear, you know, like, you know, like 
Chappelle type material or urban material or whatnot. They don't want to hear like pun, puns and. I mean, not many people want to hear puns stuff. and whimsy. Yeah. I, yeah, I yeah, would yeah. happily avoid that forever. Yeah. So, like, yeah. yeah, three minutes in, one guy had enough. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a lady as well performing, but I knew, oh, I really? knew it wasn't, yeah. You are just like, this is going to be bad. I was I like, this is going to be bad. Immediately. I need to leave. Can you put me on first? So <laughs> I got I to watch this car crash. I like that you rearranged um, your night to yeah, just watch someone else. I, I knew it was going to be terrible. I knew. I think she cried afterwards as well. Oh, jeez. I mean, that would be... I've never been... Oh, have I been booed? I don't think I've been booed. Like, that would... Yeah, having something uh, thrown at you, which it would shake you, wouldn't it? I've had a, I had a man get a beer thrown at him. Like in Australia, I think we're throwing something. It's like proper violence. Mm. Like it's got. It's not just like a get off the stage. It's like a I'm trying to kill you with this beer bottle. Yeah. Which is you know ruder I think than yeah. than a scrunched up menu or a chicken wing. <laughs> uh, in in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but what? I think a chicken wing is worse. Chicken wing is worse. Yeah. I think that's the worst. That's the worst thing you get. For somebody to throw their food at you, it's like. That, that's what I mean you know if like I mean? they've eaten the wing or they haven't eaten the wing. Because if they've oh. already eaten it, it's just a scrap on their plate. It's like, bang. But if it's like before they've even eaten it, they must really fucking hate you. Yeah. Like, oh, I just can't imagine disliking something that much. You know, like I've never been... I've, I've yeah, seen some comedy... Throw food is, is like, that, I you, paid for this. I wanted to eat it, but you're so bad. Yeah. That I'm I'd gonna, rather go hungry. <laughs> 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 I'd rather be hungry and have you end this than, yeah. than to carry on. And the thing is, like, when, you know, like, bad. for the rest of the show, you'd be looking at the wing on the stage, being like, I could have fucking eaten that wing. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, you'd, yeah, be, yeah. you'd be furious. You'd just be like, oh, maybe I lost it in that moment. I've never, I've never, I've never seen anyone, like, a crowd, like, really turn on anyone like that. Like, that's. I think Australian and English crowds, like they're both fairly polite, you know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. most of the time. I think in the States, it's more like they could really turn and just be like, fuck you. Like, we don't need this. Like, we're getting out of here. I don't know. But Liverpool, that was, that has a reputation, I guess, that can be a bit, a bit rough, but I've never found that at all. Like, they all seem quite lovely, you know? Yeah. Up there. But we were, Well, I only done it the once so oh is that the only time yeah the yeah. one time i That's saw the one it time I, first time i've been up there yeah yeah no because i just um i remember like we're talking there just about how gigs in london like just in terms of material and stuff like it's just so much easier than like when you go outside of london just because you know i guess like london's like a really international city mm. whereas like liverpool it's like a smaller place like not like you know they don't understand what you're talking about it's just like there's two people who've kind of come here they don't get it as inherently, you know? Whereas, like, if someone's doing a joke about take that, they're it, like, fuck yeah. It's not the... For me, it's not the... Um, it's the other places on the outskirts of London, the smaller places. The bigger cities, it's easier. Right. But it's, like, the smaller, more, like, you know, not insular, but, you know... The, the villages, yeah, right? Yeah, they call the, them villages, yeah, the villages or whatever that are tougher for yeah. the type of material that we do. Yeah, they just yeah. go out. No type of material we do being like kind of what race and like sex stuff, race, I guess. Race, gender, sex. Um, like any of that stuff. Yeah. That's, it's weird because like, Social I got to say, stuff, it's funny. Issues are, yeah. It's funny when you're talking about that, that lady who was going to bomb with her puns. Mm. English people are so excited by puns. Oh, I'm, yes. No, no, no. English people. Yeah. It's crazy. But not right? urban crowds. No. But urban, like, urban people don't like puns yeah but like your typical like just kind of you know thursday night comedy gig or whatever mainstream club yeah fucking go crazy in australia if you say a pun everyone groans everyone's mm. like ugh, or like they give you a sarcastic clap whereas here everyone's like yeah fucking well done mate yeah. how good was that don't you find that weird like in my head if i think of a pun i'm ashamed of myself and i move on I like to watch black people watching pun acts. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's hilarious. I had a guy do puns in Brixton once and he look <laughs> like there was some what we call road man <laughs> in the back <laughs> and he look on their faces when they were watching it. It was priceless, man. It was, I was like... Wait, is, what, what's like a road man? A road man is like a street dude. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, uh, you know... You know, a man from road, uh, a road man, uh, uh, like, like a, a, not a gangster, but you know, 
but street like, youth, street or, youth, yeah, or right. yeah, a guy who no, hangs sorry, on the block or sells, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, just because like if you said like roadman in Australia, people would be like, oh, a guy who repairs roads or like oh, yeah, drives yeah. No, a, no, no, no. a roadman. Because you guys have like that different like slang here, like obviously yeah. like different slang, but like I always find it, it's very like gentle, like British slang, like mm. you know, like rude boy. Yeah. So yeah, he's a real rude boy. I'm like, well, what? I, I wouldn't say that's British. That's that's from Jamaica. Rude boy. Rude boy is ah. original. It, yeah, would, that would have been, yeah, Jamaican. That's transplanted here. Right. Yeah. So that's the thing. I just I just have none of this because like rude boy, bad boy. Yeah, that's that's you know, yeah. You come out hearing songs on the radio. Come here, bad boy, or rude boy skank. Rude, you know. Yeah. yeah, that's a Jamaican thing. Yeah, no, because I. That's one of the things coming here that like, I've noticed that Australia just doesn't have a Caribbean culture particularly. Mm. I guess because like if people want to live in that kind of environment, they can just stay in their island, you know? Like we're just another island. Yeah. The further away from shit. <laughs> like, you know, that's that's what we're doing. So it's yeah. like, why would you move there? Yeah. So and just, the there's less racism as well. What? In the Caribbean in the islands. Caribbean islands. Be, why would a black dude go to Australia? What? You, you think we're particularly racist? Oh, yeah. It's notorious. Notorious. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, because I, I obviously hear that kind of coming over here, like you're Australian, you must be racist. Oh, yeah. And I'm talking about chicken wings, so it's probably not helping. Yeah. But no, it's just like, I, I find it funny because like, I, I mean, we don't have a big black population, yeah. which I think would probably be like where that comes from just because most people would probably ask questions that people would be like there's why a bus- are you asking me <laughs> there's, there's like, someone who does a joke on the circuit about um australian border patrol that tv program <laughs> oh yeah border security yeah, 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 yeah. being the most racist program <laughs> ever on telly yeah, and yeah you yeah. watch it and you're like okay no, it's dude, hilarious. yeah, that's that's a that's a fair point. It's I'll give you that hilarious. one. Just like, yeah, it's border force. That's what it's called, border force. Yeah, it's just or border like, patrol or whatever it was. Let's man. let's hash let's hassle some Asian families. That's what the show is. Dude, essentially, the joke is hilarious. <laughs> what if you? He must say what if you're Asian and you're on that uh, program, you're gonna have heroin. <laughs> 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 you're gonna have heroin if you, yeah. Um, but what, yeah, no, no, that that is the. That's the stereotype for Australians that Australians are yeah. racist. But no, I mean, obviously, yeah. Well, look, I've 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 come over here. I've 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 dealt with that. I obviously <laughs> put my best foot forward. Try to be very accepting. Yeah. But no, I just like I yeah. So that's just a thing over here. Like I definitely just don't kind of understand that kind of like etymology of like the slang or whatever mm-hmm. and how it all fits in. Just because like you know I I don't think you can get jerk chicken in Sydney. Yeah, like I was, I was, I was very excited to discover a new kind of chicken. Okay. I was like, "This is sick," because yeah. like, yeah, we just we just don't have it. Like we're we're starting to get more African immigration, yeah, and like Caribbean immigration now. Mm. But I don't I don't know what's kick started it, but it was just a little bit more. I guess people fed up with trying to get in America or something. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I don't think we're I don't think we're people's first choice. You know, yeah. we're we're nice. We're we're a good we're a good people. <laughs> We, my, my only thing, my only knowledge of Australia, well, growing up was, you know, uh, Crocodile Dundee. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, then from cricket, we would play, you know, from the cricket and whatnot. Who was, who was the, oh, and that guy, the swimming guy, Thorpe. Thorpe, really? Yeah, yeah Thorpe. And the, you had a fast bowler one time that was super quick, man. Oh, um, Brett Lee it? or Jeff Thompson? Yeah, yeah, Brett Lee. Brett Lee. Yeah. Um, no, that's those are pretty popular for a, a bit. Brett Lee, Thorpe. Um, yeah, Crocodile yeah. Dundee. A bit of Steve Irwin later on. Um, Man, yeah. I, I read this. <laughs> I read this list once. It was like Shane Warren. Was Shane Warren. Yeah, yeah, of course. He was, he was massive. Yeah. Yeah, Shane Warren's great. Yeah, um, they love him here as well. Like they English people love Shane Warren. Because yeah. he like would smoke cigarettes, eat food out of tins, and still be really good at cricket. Yeah. And English people are like that's it's quite the chubby, fucking yeah, dream. Yeah, 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 you know what I mean. He didn't he like they they related to it more than Australians, I think, because Australians want you to be real he, modest. In Barbados, he used to be in the clubs quite a bit. I think. I think we saw him one night out. Yeah. What really? Just hanging out, and having a good time. Yeah. That's pretty sick. Yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, it's like sorry on Steve Owen. 
I read I read this list, like one of those like internet lists, and it was like ten celebrities you had no idea were Australian, and he was number four. And I was like, where the fuck did you think he was from? <laughs> yeah, he's in number one. Like, yeah. Come on, didn't know he was Australian. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. But yeah, I, I do I do find like Australia's characterization as a country very funny. He, like, yeah, he is the main. He is like Mister Australia. Yeah, right? Because that's yeah. what you picture. We're in shorts, we're in yeah. khakis, yeah. we're wrestling crocodiles. Yeah, he's Mr. Australia. Well, after it was Crocodile Dundee first, then him. Yeah, it's weird that we've got so much to do with crocodiles as a people. Yeah. So people are like, yeah, man, you guys, you wrestle crocodiles. That's what you do. Mm. You carry a knife. I was not a fan of him, though. You weren't a fan? No. Steve Irwin or Crocodile Dundee? Steve Irwin. Right. Why, why, why do he rub you the wrong way? I, I just think, I don't like when people harass animals, man. Yeah. I don't like that. I always want the animal to bite, bite them and stuff. <laughs> like, just leave the crocodile alone. Let him chill out. You know what I mean? So you I'm just, not a fan of that. You just love those, um, what, that documentary, Blackfish, about the killer whales that would get their trainers. You were just like, good. I always think, just leave, don't, like, the one, was it Into the Wild? With the guy with the grizzly bears and stuff? Ah, uh, yeah, I think so. And, yeah, and yeah, eventually yeah. he got bitten or, yeah, mauled. Yeah, you're just like, what I are you think, doing? Yeah, yeah, dude, don't go out there. Is, is there much wildlife in Barbados? Like, is there still quite a lot of nature? Has it been kind of... Cause I, I, it's not like tigers and lions and stuff like that. No, not really. No, um, no, but just like... Because in England, right, this is like a big fucking garden. You know, mm. like there's nothing here that's not like a pigeon. Like, whereas in Australia, like there's, you know, the outback, there's like a huge bit that's like untouched. Yeah. So like, I think, it, cause in Australia, I, I got the same kind of opinion as you. Like you shouldn't fuck with animals. Like they're just doing their own thing. Yeah. Just let them chill. Alone. Every day, no, you got to be stressing about this guy, this chubby dude coming and jumping <laughs> on your back. No, I don't like that, man. Yeah. So just like, but I, I think it. that would have been stressful for them. For the crocodiles? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Camera crew. It's quite invasive. I don't like that, man. Just I leave mean, the that, animals alone, that's, man. That's how he died, the stingray. Yeah. Like, the stingray was like, what are you doing? Go away. And it yeah, got him. I, I, don't, I don't like people doing that. No. Just leave the animals. Just let them be. Leave them alone? Yeah. Do you, do, you have, do you have any animals in your house? You got a dog or I got, anything? I got um, pets. I got two cats. Two cats? Yeah. A double cat? Yeah. One wife, two kids, two cats? Yeah. Cats, cats are easy, though. But, um... Even for me, I don't think they should be indoors, to be honest, but, you know. Are they, like, strictly indoor cats? No, one goes out. The other one we don't let out because she's quite gentle and she wouldn't survive a day outside. Right. She's, what, she's definitely a house cat. The other cat is, like... What What kind of kills cats out here? Like, just other cats? Like, is uh, that Other cats would fuck her up. Um... I think foxes or dogs or get hit by a car. She's not. Yeah, she can't handle those. Like, <laughs> she can't. She can't deal with that. Just yeah, keep her indoors, yeah, yeah. where she's safe. The slightest thing, she's off. She scampers. <laughs> she's more like a. She's a very beautiful, like yeah, right, fluffy cat, gentle. Yeah. Okay. The other cat is a street cat, and he goes out. <laughs> yeah. He's a, he's a road cat. I don't, yeah, yeah, he's a road cat. Yeah, I don't, I don't think any pets should be... I don't believe in pets either, man. You don't believe in pets? Yeah. yeah. But you got two pets. Huh? You, but you got two pets. Yeah, but I think they should be out roaming. Right. They, they, I think humans do too much, you know, nonsense to the animals. But... Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think... Don't like, I think... Especially like birds, people who got birds in cages, man. No good? That's the worst, man. What about the like the wings clipped as well? I hate the wings being that's, clipped. That's, I think that's the worst, man. You, you got a bird in a cage. That's wrong, man. Give it that. Give it that? Yeah. Let, let it go. Let it go, man. Let it go outside. What about English people and dogs? I think English people like dogs more than any group of people I've ever come across in my fucking life. And Australians really like dogs. Yeah. But like English people, it's just like it's next level. Yeah. Like they take them everywhere. And I don't get oh, it. Yeah, you get dogs at gigs and stuff, man. Yeah, dogs. Going on to Brighton, you'll see half the audience be dogs. <laughs> half the audience be dogs. The That's the the tough gigs in Brighton. Yeah, yeah. Those dogs, man. They love a yeah, pun, though. Yeah. That's the thing. No, but just like, yeah, I just, I've never seen more, like, never seen people take dogs out more consistently mm. than in the UK. 
Like, and it's not for the dog. I'm sorry. I refuse to believe your dog can't chill at home for two hours. Mm. He doesn't need to be taken on the fucking tube. Like, that must be torture. Like, dogs on the overground and stuff. I'm like, you guys must hate this. Humans yeah. don't like it. Yeah. And we can be like, hey, get off me. You know, like, we can talk. Yeah. Like, I just don't get it, man. They take him everywhere. Everywhere. Just leave him in your apartment. They're I always worry there. about those little dogs as well. Which ones? Just like chihuahuas any, or just any Any, any little dog. All any right. small dog. When people are walking around, I'm like, that dog is getting worked to the bone because his little feet are going like yeah, to yeah, us yeah, yeah. it's just a walk to him that might be a marathon you know what i mean like i look at <laughs> i look at these dogs and they're just proper hustling I'm like this cannot be good for that dog that dog must want to break you know what i mean yeah but do, um, do, you, do you get involved you're just like mate look your dog looks a bit nah, tired you you can't say anything can you just step in you, I would, you would like to say something but I, I see. You, I see you as like I'm a guy who can never say anything. I'm like the guy like never sends the food back. But you seem like you got that kind of energy of just like, hey man, like, can you just let your dog if, chill if, for if, a bit? If it's really bad, I would say something. But if yeah, you'd step in. Have you ever have you ever been a hero in a social situation? Have you ever just been like, oi, let's just yeah. Recently, and then everyone told me I shouldn't have done it because <laughs> <laughs> I could have died. Um, there were some kids kicking off on a bus. And they were like, they were like, we're not paying that, all that sort of stuff. I was leaving Angel, yeah. Angel Comedy. I just done Angel Comedy. I was walking by this bus, and th- three little kids, not they're not little, but I would say thirteen to sixteen, yeah, right. were on this bus causing trouble, and they were like, we're not paying. And the guy was like, um, I'm not driving the bus till you get off. All that kind of stuff. And they were proper like walking up, trying to be bad and walking. <laughs> And then they started threatening the driver. And I was just watching it at first. And then I was like, Aren't, isn't anybody going to say anything to these? I, I, just thought it, like, I just thought it so sad that 12-year-olds, 13-year-olds could take over a bus. Yeah. And adults do nothing about it. Because that wouldn't happen in Barbados. Well, back in the day when I was growing up, that wouldn't happen. What, people would All the right adults would have beat those kids. Yeah. Like... <laughs> Take off belts and get them lashes and shit. Wow. Like the bus driver would have beat those kids. The was it a pretty, women pretty were, strict place? Or just like... You, you got lashes if you fell out of line. Right, okay. And I was like, that wouldn't... When I was growing up, no, it would possibly happen because like, everybody got guns and shit. But um, <laughs> as soon as they started like <laughs> being rude to the driver and was like pounding in his um, window and whatnot, yeah. I got on the bus and I was like, all three of you get off the fucking bus now. <laughs> and I just shouted at them, get off this fucking bus. No people working that want to get home. And I shouted at them and then they ran off the bus. Really? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then um, this lady waved at me and this guy was, you know, he put his hands like that. Like, thank little, you. Yeah, the thank you hand. Yeah. yeah and yeah. then I watched them for a little bit and they went to do the same thing on the next bus and I chased after them. <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone I told, they were like, mate, you could have got stabbed, dude. And I was like, yeah, I probably could have got stabbed. Is there, is there any comedy in the Caribbean? Like, Yeah, there is comedy, but I don't think there's like a comedy circuit circuit. But there are comedy events. Right. So it's like a one-off. Yeah, it's more one-off stuff or like the odd bar here and there. Yeah. But I don't... Th- I think they're more com- comedians slash entertainers. They do more than just comedy. Right, there's so like there an is, instrument or something. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah. Like the old school, like the old school kind of Tonight Show people. No, know? not just that, but like, I don't think they're like, they're more like entertainers and hosts and other things. I don't think there's like a circuit circuit. Right. But there are comedy nights and comedy events and whatnot. Is, but it's not like every night there is comedy on a Tuesday at this venue or blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's no, not that. There's no, there's no circuit, as yeah, you yeah, said. It's yeah, yeah. It's just kind of like... Is yeah. it, but is there like... Are there but any, it's, it's, it's becoming more common. Yeah. Right. It's growing. That's actually one of the things. I don't know if you've ever done this. Just like... This kind of opened my eyes. Like on Instagram, you go like hashtag comedy mm. and you just look at it. Like kind of all the posts that come up, the top posts, like all these things. You realize like that so many comedians aren't doing it in English. Like there's like so much kind of comedy content out there that's just not in English. You've never heard of this person. Mm. 
They're mm. like kind of YouTube. Oh, I never clip people. That. I don't. Yeah. Oh man, I, I highly recommend I don't it. Hash, like, I was just anything. like, I just I just wanted to look through, and I was like, holy shit! <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, know, I, I never use hashtags to be honest. I just use them for my posts, okay. but I never go and look at a, a hashtag this, ever. This is like a recent thing for me. My girlfriend was like, you should, because she's like kind of in social media with a job. Mm. She was like, you should do that. Like, just kind of see what else is there. Like, what other people are doing. Why though? Just just to like see, like what other people are using Instagram for. <laughs> and it just blew my mind, man. Like, just the sheer number of like Russian comedians. Like, oh, I, yeah. I, I, I but, think about comedy a lot. I never think about it in Russian, you know? Yeah. No, it's getting bigger everywhere, man. Yeah. Um, are, there, are there any famous like Caribbean comedians? Like, is anyone kind of broken from there and apart from yourself, obviously, and like kind of gone on to kind of mainstream success or anything like that? Or are you the the pioneer? You're the first guy. Well, no, there's there's loads of um, no, there's loads of comedians in the UK with like Caribbean heritage. Loads of them. Oh yeah, but like, I mean, kind of grew up there, or um, like, or know. still still live there, but like to it or something. I don't know. I'm not sure. I can't think of. There are some guys out there. I can't. I can't say their names, but yeah, I know yeah. there's guys from like Trinidad and Jamaica, yeah, who are pretty big. But they're definitely big in like Jamaica and Trinidad or whatever. But um, that are on uk screens or i can't think of any um but yeah i don't know it's all it's all developing do you ever go have you ever done gigs there have you ever gone back and like put on a show just for like friends no. or anything no not really no well you're not gonna you're not gonna do that in november <laughs> no nah, i'm going to chill out <laughs> go to the beach man um who was it i was gonna say something just now mm. oh i got this friend he's brazilian yeah and he says, like, in Brazil, it's really getting big. And he says, what people do is that they literally take Louis C.K. set or the favorite comedian set and just oh. translate it and say, <laughs> <laughs> and say it in Portuguese. That's awesome. Yeah. I, but I, I got a friend from Russia as well. He says people do the same thing in Russia. Wow. They would just take a, an English or an American comedian and just translate it and go in the club and, and crush. <laughs> and crush. Absolutely crush. <laughs> and crush, yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. I love shit like that. Yeah, like, it's, it's just so like, funny. that's... Because, like, I mean, that's how the English thing got started. Yeah. Everyone was doing each other's jokes yeah, for years. Yeah, 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 it was like, yeah, yeah, fuck it. Why not do the English people's jokes? So this Brazilian guy, he was like... Because um, I was helping him to write some jokes and whatnot. And he would just tell me, Nico, um, I'm I'm taking that joke. That's a good joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, taking, I'm putting this in um, Portuguese. <laughs> so, so yeah, we'll just do it like that, man. And that's it. That's it. Maybe so maybe funny. that's a good little business model for comedians. We we give them our jokes. Like, look, you can perform this in Brazil as much as you want. I don't yeah. give a fuck as yeah. long as it's never in English. Go yeah. for it. Yeah, it's oh, so man. funny, man. All right. Well, look, man. It's been it's been really nice um, chatting to you. Thanks for yeah, taking yeah, the time. Yeah. Um, do you have Do you have like where can people find you? You got any shows coming up? Anything like that? So as I said, um, you can find me Sunday and Tuesday at Top Secret Comedy Club, and on Instagram and Twitter it's Neeksman. That's N W E K S M A N. Neeksman. Yeah, that's it. Really, that's it. That's where to find you. Yeah, you got. You, you can see him twice a week, every week in London, in one of the best clubs in London. So I think that's easy enough to do. Uh, Nico Yearwood, thanks for thanks for getting around the Union Jack off, man. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for having me. I'm releasing tw- in what in three years. Releasing in three years <laughs> when it really takes off. Yeah. Fucking parting gift. I'm gonna throw chicken wings at you. So that was me talking to Nico Yearwood from Barbados. Pretty exotic. Not a place that I've really thought about beyond an exotic holiday destination. It was cool to learn some stuff about that. It was cool to meet a man who moved to London for a reason that wasn't love or work. I like that he just was like, yeah, I was in Barbados and I was bored. So I left. Uh, I think that's the kind of attitude that I can definitely get behind uh, just taking the bull by the horns and leaving because you want to. 
I think the more the more people I talk to with this podcast, I realize the main people, sorry, the main reason people leave where they're from is like there's usually a professional, like personal reason in the sense of like a lady or a fella or a profession they're trying to pursue. So it was nice to just have someone be like, yeah, I just wanted to come here because I liked being here for a year. He didn't really think it beyond that. And I think, you know, that was probably the biggest thing I learned about Nico during that conversation is like he doesn't worry too much you know he's got a he's got a good laid back thing which i which i find funny because you know i i don't think about myself as a particularly laid back person but since i moved to the uk people can't stop telling me how chill i am about everything and uh i can't i can only imagine what he cops because to me he's the most laid back dude in the world uh but yeah it was nice it was nice to chat to him get to know him a bit better uh, obviously, if you enjoyed him, go catch him at Top Secret Comedy Club. Is there Tuesdays and Sundays, as he said. I think I'm doing one of those shows in a couple of weeks. I think, yeah, just maybe like first week of December I might be there. Um, so if you want to come down, you might be able to see both of us on the same night. And I will try and figure out where I heard that story about people throwing chicken wings. It's bugging me because he called me on it. He's like, you sure? You sure that's not just stereotyping? And I'm like, no, I, I remember it so clearly just because of the image of an eaten chicken wing being thrown at me while I'm on stage is definitely the most terrifying thing I can imagine as a comedian. That's so much, so much worse than being booed, so much worse than someone throwing a glass at you, you know? Just, just the disdain to be like, hey, go take this chicken wing. I don't need it anymore. Anyway, that was that was my chat. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I will be back next week. We're, we're off Australian month, as I'm sure you can imagine, getting some more international guests. I'm back in the UK. I know that because it is five degrees outside and my window is foggy, even though I've got no heating on at all. So I'm back. I'm back, baby. Uh, and you guys, please keep uh, listening in. Uh, if you've got friends who you think would enjoy it, please get them to subscribe. It's on Spotify. It's on iTunes. It's everywhere. Uh, if you want to rate us on iTunes, leave a review. That would be awesome because all that stuff does really help. Anyway, I'll chat to you guys next week. I'm Daniel Muggleton. Bye. Bye.